Hey kittens, it's PC Purrs and I'm back for another episode of A Dancer Reviews where a dancer is going to review a music video or a movie or a TV show, something that has to do with pole and we'll talk about the story and pole and then I'm going to try to throw in like a little tutorial for you guys. Um, so if you are a pole enthusiast or if you are a pole dancer or especially if you're a pole beginner, this might be for you. So if you're liking the series so far, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can know when I upload new videos. But for today, let's keep going with Jocelyn's Cabaret. This is episode 10. We got a lot to talk about, so we'll just let's start. So I don't know if you guys saw the video that I posted like Wednesday um, when we started finding out about all the stuff that happened when they tried to film the reunion show. But um, if you didn't check that out, I'll leave the link down below. Go check that out. It's a bunch of drama. I'm not surprised Jocelyn tried to fight a bunch of people because she's been fighting people on reunion shows since way back. It's not a funny matter, but I just feel like I want more information to come out. Jocelyn is saying that no one can sue because they signed contracts, but I don't know. The issue might not be about suing her. It might be about ballistic if he really did put his hands on Amber. So... Hopefully we get to see the footage and see what happened. It's just, I don't think a man should be putting his hands on a woman. Other than that, I want to know what really happened. I hope we get to see it. Like, I don't want to see a man put his hands on a woman, but I do want to know what really happened because you know the truth is somewhere in the middle of what we're hearing right now. But anyway, this episode starts with a naked Jocelyn. Jocelyn is in her pool. No clothes on, sipping champagne, telling us that her throat is a little <coughs> So she's not going to judge the competition tonight. And I'm like, you have a competition show and you're not going to go to the la to like the judging of that competition. How does this make any sense? But she said Ballistic and Lexi Blow can handle it. So... We know that's what we're working with. And Jocelyn's body does look good, but it was just, I'm like, I can't believe she's not gonna go. <laughs> so then we have Lexi, Kay Capri, Henny, and Amber sitting at like a outside area. And they're telling Amber about the night. And they're saying how people did like Raven. People were calling her name, but nobody was really calling for Lollipop. So Amber's trying to hate on Raven and she's saying that, you know, her little move like this is called the Raven and how she wasn't that cute. And they're all like, no, she was really sexy. And by the way, her little Raven dance is called a body wave and it actually is a sexy move and you can do it various ways, but whatever. They were asking her if she really didn't think that Raven did good. And she was saying, no, I didn't think she was that great. Just hating. And then Amber starts saying how she wants to battle everybody. She wants her spot. And Ruby's the only one to kind of question her, like, why would you say that? Why do you want to fight everyone? She's kind of being nasty with her, but not really, because Ruby just asked her a question, like, why? Why you got to take it there? And she's like, because that's my spot. And Lexi Blow was just kind of backing her up. And I'm just like, I don't think Amber should be teasing anybody about the way that they've been dancing. But what we've seen so far, they haven't shown her dancing in the most positive of light. So I'm just like, hmm. You should stop. Then it's Lollipop talking to Raven and Black Diamond. And they're just filling in Black Diamond because she wasn't there. Black Diamond is saying how she wanted to be there to support her bestie on her on her birthday and for her performance, but she wasn't allowed there. And so Lollipop is telling her, you know, we have another spot and I need you to be in there and I need you to get your trick together. And this one trick that I know you know how to do and just... You know, so already we're seeing everybody wants Black Diamond to be in the cabaret. And I'm like, why? So far, she really hasn't shown anybody anything. But OK. But then this scene kind of stood out to me because in the scene, Raven is like, oh, well, Amber is a good dancer. It's just her mouth. And I'm like, when? Because so far, we haven't seen her look good. I'm like, so maybe there, there's something going on that we haven't seen so far. But I'm like, I maybe she can do something on the pole that we haven't seen so far. But why wouldn't we? Have, I don't know. It was just very confusing to me. But they say that they all need to go practice. So then they leave. Then after that, why y'all didn't tell me? This whole time, I did not know Jocelyn was saying Lauderdale. She's like, Lauderdale, ho. Right. 
I thought she was speaking Spanish. I did not know she was saying Lauderdale. And then Raven is walking away singing it. And I'm like, and she's enunciating. I'm like, oh. Uh, so then we have Chanel outside by herself, just vaping. And then Lexi Blow comes to talk to her. And Chanel is saying she's just staying away from everybody because she's in her feelings. Like, I still haven't been dancing in the cabaret. I'm just here. I'm messing up. I don't know what's going on. So Lexi is telling her that she needs to get her stuff together and stay out of Jocelyn's business and not open up her mouth. And Chanel is saying that she feels she didn't know what her responsibilities for being the captain were going to be coming into this. I don't think she's giving herself enough credit. I think she did. She came in, she tried to give the girls an assignment. She tried to be helpful and it's just not going right. She just didn't stand up for herself the way she should have been. But she she says that she thinks the problem is, isn't her dancing, it's her showing her loyalty to Jocelyn. And I do think that's how Jocelyn is looking at it, but they've just been targeting this girl all season. <laughs> So Lexi Blow tells her that she thinks to redeem herself, she should just come up with a whole routine and present it to Jocelyn to say, to show what she can do for the cabaret. And I'm like, I feel like she's already done that, but okay. And Chanel is, and this Chanel, I don't know how she can be so optimistic. She said, I don't think Jocelyn has said anything to hurt my feelings. What? <laughs> Yes, she has. And she said that she takes everything like constructive criticism. Like when Jocelyn was teasing her about her belly last season, she came back this season snatched and she started crying. And I'm like, she really is trying to be a team player. She really should have been the cabaret captain. And they just did her so dirty, or at least the co-captain with Lexi. But oh my gosh. And it was a nice scene, but I wish, I wish things weren't like this for Chanel. And then I just feel like Lexi does not have her back and she hasn't all season. Wet Wet and Jordan have a conversation in the pool and this is the most I've heard Jordan speak the entire season. Honestly, I thought it was Riri at first and I was like, well, when they cut to the confessionals, it looks like Jordan. So what are they confusing? I was like, oh no, that is Jordan. Okay. And so they really didn't have anything to talk about. She was just telling Wet Wet, you know, give it a shot. So then Lexi has all the girls meet together, dressed up, club attire, like we're going to perform and we're going to do the routine that Chanel asked you guys to do episodes ago. <laughs> I don't know how long ago this was, like weeks ago, to do this routine in the group formations that you're supposed to be in. And if you don't remember it all, that's fine. Just show us what you've got. So Chanel has to go first, but Chanel's partner was supposed to be Lexi. But because Lexi is judging, I guess she's like, I'm not dancing with you. So Chanel has to dance by herself. Chanel does a good routine. Again, it's a cabaret type of routine. It's presenting, it's giving you sexy erotic stripper, but not full out like strip club, which is what Jocelyn said she wanted. She did good. So then Amber goes and she's like, how am I stuck in a group with girls who don't like me? Cause she's with Wet Wet and Lollipop. And to me, that is hilarious. And I like the way it started. They had this little formation on the floor and they're like stroking Lollipop's legs. And then they flip over and they start a routine. And it's like heels choreography, right? I don't know if any, if you watch dancer videos, like you'll see a lot of them with the pop locking and just like the twirling and the spins. And she starts doing that. And I'm like, okay, so you take heels classes. And then she criticizes the other two girls like, oh, well, of course they don't remember the choreography because they dance like some stripper hoes. And I'm like, you're on a show with strippers who are doing pole work you're not doing pole work. So technically you're the one that's in the wrong here. Like nobody asked for any of that. Nobody asked for this fast eight count and all this spinning and twirling and jazz hands and all this other stuff to expect them to understand your fast choreography like that is unrealistic. And it's also not what anybody asked for. Then Raven, Henny and Black Diamond went and Henny was just all offbeat. But honestly, none of them were moving together. And the only one that really looked like she retained the information was Raven. So... Then Riri, Jordan, and Kay Capri went and their group was the most like together of the groups. Um, they had a nice little routine. It played to everybody's strengths. Everybody looked like they were featured in a few seconds that we got to see something. And Jordan said that she made up the whole routine. So it was very cute. 
So at this point, I'm like, this is what we should have been getting all along. I don't know why this didn't happen in like episode one or two, but <laughs> then Lexi says she thinks that they should just combine everybody's things together and try to make their weaknesses showcase, which is weird, but I guess she meant like try to work on your weaknesses and, and turn them into something better, I guess. And she wants Jordan to choreograph everything and put everything together. And it was just nice because the girls looked happy to be able to work together and they do a little hand thing. And I'm like, they probably would have been more like this throughout the season had they actually had things to do instead of just like laying around the house and trying to fight each other for attention because how else are they going to stand out? But all right. So then the girls that are in the cabaret meet with Ballistic in this restaurant. And Valentino, the head of the restaurant, comes out and he's like, I'm going to make sure you guys have a good time and just talking everything up. And then he brings out in this like Beauty and the Beast casing, this drink, this foaming and smoke and all this other stuff and sits it on the table and removes it. But it's one drink for like 10 people sitting at this table. And I'm like, so is everybody going to get one? But no, it's just the one. So K. Capri snatches it and drinks it and now nobody else can have a sip. And I mean, I wouldn't want to pass this drink around either, but how you bring the whole table one drink and then brought out two platters of steak? I was, I was disturbed by that. But anyway, so Ballistic is asking the girls what they need like what's missing from the cabaret. So they say that they already have enough people to do pole tricks, so they need somebody else that's gonna bring sexy. It's funny, cause Lexi keeps telling Chanel, oh, we need to stick together with the originals. But this is another example at this table when Lexi does not have Chanel's back. So Ch Lexi's saying, you know, well, before I knew Jordan could choreograph, I would have said we needed to go with like Chanel because she choreographs. But now knowing this, like, oh, so we don't really need Chanel. And then Ballistic asked them going down the line who they think should be in the cabaret. And Chanel's like, I don't know. Okay. And then uh, Ruby and Jordan say Chanel that she brought all the elements that you need for the cabaret. So they both think Chanel. Then, of course, Lollipop and Raven, who've already told Black Diamond they want her in the cabaret, say that they want Black Diamond. And then Kay Capri says, Team Chanel all day. So Alexia sitting there didn't give her answer, even though she's the one that's supposed to be figuring this out with Ballistic. I think it's crazy that Lexi keeps saying that they didn't know that Jordan could choreograph. Y'all have been here for how long and it's a dance show and y'all are supposed to be working together and y'all are on a team together and you don't know that she can choreograph? What is it y'all been doing? So now they're at the club and they're gonna decide. But first Lexi Blow pulls Chanel and Amber to the side because they're having issues with each other because of the whole Jocelyn situation. And Chanel tells her, you know, she's not in the best of spirits because she hasn't danced yet and she just feels out of place. Amber is mad because she doesn't understand why she didn't get to dance last time. And she's blaming Chanel for everything that happened. And Lexi again, isn't choosing sides, she's playing the middle. And Amber disrespects Chanel again and still Chanel sitting there being courteous to her. And I'm like, you just need to curse this girl out at this point because she keeps talking to you crazy. But we already know this. So finally, we're going to see them dance. And it's known that Lexi is going to be the one to choose. And Wet Wet is first up like, eh, me, I'm going first. I guess she just wanted to get it over with. So she goes and she dances like a baby stripper. Um, she's doing the same moves that she's been doing since day one. And... Lexi criticizes her for that, but we haven't seen any group rehearsals, no trainings, no anything. So as the new captain, what were you doing? Then Chanel comes and she does the most complicated trick that we've seen all season. She does a shoulder mount. She does like the cute little trick. She comes down from it nicely. Then she works the crowd. She's giving them eye contact. She's giving them floor work. And it was really cute. The whole time she was dancing, look at Kay Capri's face. She was like, that's the look that you want from the people when they go to see your cabaret. You want, ideally, I would think you would want Jocelyn to be performing with the girls doing in the background stuff that has the audience like 
oh my God, I can't believe what I'm seeing. There's this craziness going on and it should be flowing to Jocelyn's music and it should just have people awestruck. And it should be something where people can focus their eyes and see it and just be able to sit back and go, oh my God, that's what you want. She's the only one that's given us that the entire season. But all right, let's keep going. So then it was Henny and she tried, she said she was nervous, but it was, you know, baby stripper again. Then Black Diamond goes and she comes out. She has a nice entrance with the robe that she takes off. And then she gets naked and then she does a baby trick and everybody's screaming for her and stuff like that. But I don't think it's because her dancing was so great. I think it's because it's the first time they've seen her do this baby trick that she's been saying she's tried so hard to do, to get. Um, and I also think that they like her body. She's got the big boobs, the small waist and the big hips and the big butt. So it's what you want to see from a stripper. You know what I mean? But, and she showed everybody her butthole last time. So I think, and she's there with her friends. So they got amped. After that, Amber goes and she gives us more of her heels dancing, more of her trying to twerk. Ballistic is sitting there wanting to laugh, saying that she looks like she's just doing like some type of robotic popping kind of thing and that it wasn't cute. And <laughs> her friend Kay Capri is like this the whole time. When it's time to deliberate, Lexi sends Henny and Wet Wet away. She's like, thank you for your services. Have them go. And then they give it to Black Diamond. <sighs> Riri, Jordan, and Kay Capri have all said that Chanel's dancing keeps getting better. She keeps showing you different things and she represents the cabaret the best, like all around. Yet Lexi chose Black Diamond. After saying that they need to stick together, after saying that we're the originals and after telling her how much she deserves to be there and just knowing that she's a good dancer. Clearly y'all can see I'm biased and I have an opinion, but to me, Chanel was the missing link. I just think she was too mature for this show. Um, and that's unfortunate, but I wish her luck and I hope a bunch of good things happen for her because I don't think she deserved the mistreatment that she got during this season. And unfortunately, I don't think she went to the reunion show. So if we do get a reunion show, we don't even get to hear from her. So that's messed up. But so next week we see that we're going to see the girls dance in the final performance and whatever. So instead of doing a tutorial today of the winner, Black Diamond, because I feel like I've shown you everything that she's done um, before and it wasn't anything too crazy. I'm going to do let's do a versus. So I'm going to show you what Black Diamond did and I'm going to show you what Chanel did. And y'all can tell me who you think should have won because. Um, let's go to the ball. OK, so on the left is Black Diamond. And the main difference you're going to see is that her pole is on spin. So everything is going to look really smooth and flowy and pretty. Chanel's, though, took me about an hour to work on where Black Diamond's took me about mm, maybe five minutes. But Chanel's mainly because that shoulder mount is super hard. And if it's something that you don't practice all the time, you can lose it. So I clearly have to step my game up and practice that because I was starting to lose it. But Chanel's left me tired and in pain. Black Diamonds was just fun and it was like I could spend forever. But really, I like both of them. I think both of them are really pretty. What do you think? If anything, I think if they took both of them, that would have worked. It's two different aesthetics. And I do think that would have been fine, but I think to not give Chanel a spot, dead wrong, dead wrong. So again, if you're liking this series, if you're liking the tutorials, if you guys like seeing me dance, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, please. Um, subscribe. I do think I should start posting more on my Instagram so you guys can see more of me dancing. So let me know if you want to know about that. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Meow.